Uh, so if you're running a small business like me, one thing that small businesses thrive on is reviews. You have to have some sort of system for getting reviews and getting good five-star reviews. And there's lots of uh, different platforms where people can leave you a review. For most small businesses, it's either going to fall onto Google Maps or Yelp. Or in my case, I also use Better Business Bureau. And each one of those platforms has certain benefits and, um, and drawbacks, if you will. I'll say that uh, Google reviews on Google Maps, uh, that's where you're going to get the most visibility. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you have good um, uh, ratings on Google Maps. You can create a Google listing. If you have a storefront business, you probably already have a, a Google listing, but you have to go out there and you have to claim it. Uh, they may have your information based on what uh, uh, people in the neighborhood have seen about you, have interacted with you, and a business may have been created without your knowledge. But if you go in there and you claim it, then every all the potential good things that people have said about you are now yours. Uh, the bad thing about Google reviews uh, is that you don't have much recourse if someone gives you a bad review. There's not a way to, there is a way to respond to the bad review, um, but there's not a really a way to make it right unless the customer comes back. And even still, there's still no guarantee that they're gonna go back and change their one-star rating to a five-star rating after you've uh, fixed the issue of whatever it is. Uh, Yelp uh, also has great visibility Things that are, are not necessarily covered by Google, or if Google doesn't have a setup for a top page of a particular business or category of business, the next level that is preferred is the Yelp uh, service. And uh, Yelp actually does have uh, very high readings as far as searchability. They're also uh, connected with, I believe, uh, some of the, uh, uh, I believe they're making a contract with iPhone. So people that do voice searches and map searches through their mobile device, they're usually going to be pumping out Yelp listings, Yelp directories. Um, so that's the advantage. But the disadvantage is, even if you get good ratings, uh, Yelp has this crazy non-working filter that may filter some of your good, uh, some of your good reviews, and they'll put them into this space of your listing that's called not suggested, or or reviews that are not suggested, or unsuggested reviews, where they're basically put to the bottom of the list. They're not counted against your uh, five star score, if you will. And they do this to try to prevent people from, if it sounds too fake, they'll put in that category. Even if they're real, if they sound fake, they get they get demoted and they don't count. And sometimes the, I mean, that that's fine if you're trying to make the site coherent and you're trying to weed out the fake reviews, but uh, many times the filter is wrong. I know this from personal experience and what will happen is, in some cases, all of your f legitimate five-star reviews will get put in, will be, will get triggered by the filter, and all of your bad reviews are going to go to the top of your listing. It's going to be the first thing that people see. So uh, they are unfair when it comes to the uh, vendor side, but very, very fair, I guess, for the customer side. Uh, the last one is the uh, Better Business Bureau, which uh, I uh, recently got a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually starting to uh, pay them monthly now for their monthly service. And I already got some uh, good five-star reviews uh, through them. I have not yet uh, found the uh, the impact that it's going to have on my business if it's actually going to promote and create more phone calls for me. 
but it does establish you as a trusted uh, person in the community, in the business space that you are active in. So if you really want, if you're in one of those businesses where people are always looking for trust, um, an excellent example would be uh, home contractors, uh, plumbers, uh, drywall people. Any, any, anytime you have a product or service where a person is coming into someone's residence, uh, that's where you want to have that trust. And uh, so the Better Business Bureau is like that. There are other services like that, but Better Business Bureau actually does a more complete job than Home Advisor than any of those other apps that claim that uh, that they are checking out the businesses that they're promoting. Anyway, I hope you can find at least some of this information uh, helpful if you're a, uh, a client or a customer of uh, one of your a local business or if you are a local business yourself. I hope you found some of this information helpful. Thanks.